guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you guys how i do these really cute fishtail braids um all you need is these small uh i don't know the silicone plastic hair ties um and dirty hair and a hat if you want to style it with a hat and i've been styling it with this hat every single day or every other day i also do a low bun with this or i just put it on to one really big braid but if you like this hairstyle, please keep on watching. All right, guys. So the first step is optional. I am going to use the um, bedhead wave artist through my whole head just so that I have more volume to work with. I do have really fine, thin, like, Asian hair. So this really helps with the braid and making it more voluminous. This is one of my favorite dry shampoo. It's a living proof dry shampoo um, from Sephora. It is on the pricey side, so... I try not to use it too much. Usually I would use the um, Batiste, but the smells nice. And the Batiste, I find that it leaves a really gritty feeling on your hair and it's really hard to work with and brush to. And this works wonders and it smells really nice. Yeah, so you want to just run your fingers through your hair just to dissolve the dry shampoo so that you don't see the white powder. So you just want to start from the roots and work your way down and basically you want to do this throughout your entire head and like that. Okay, finally I'm on my last bit of my hair. You don't have to do this too carefully just because you are going to braid it anyways but I just want to run this through just so that my hair has a bit more volume and a bit more fluff to work with just like that and then you just want to run it through a quick coat of hairspray um just to kind of hold in all the work that you did the tresemme uh extra firm control so just run a nice coat just spray it myself Now that you're suffocated with hairspray. So you've got this here. Now this can also be a look if you want to like stop here, but with the hats that I've been wearing, I find it really, I'm really liking the braids. So I'm gonna stick with that. But so after I run the bedhead waver through, I've got this. And then now you just wanna section it off to two parts. Working on one side first. I'm just gonna basically clip this. Okay, um, so you wanna part your bangs out. I'm gonna put that to the side. And then basically the two parts you've got here are just divided in half equal thickness. And you just wanna start by elastic bending this part here. So I like to just do it three times just so that there's still a bit of room for me to move the hair. So you wanna just pull that give it a tug and then pull it a little bit out so that it gets a bit of more volume up here. So that's good. You've got your first braid part done. The bottom part here, you're going to separate that in half. So you just want to split that in half and then that is going to go over the first braid that we did. So you want to fold this or tie this together. Again, I like to do it three loops. And now you've got this. So now you just want to give it a tug and then you want to take both sides of that and you just want to give it a quick spread. So now that you've got a nice fluffy braid going. I don't know if that makes sense. And then just give it a nice tug. And then you want to repeat the same steps. So the bottom part that you've got here, split that in half. And that's going to loop around the first the very first loop here and then you want to take another elastic band and do three loops again and just repeat so now that you've got that give that a tug and then just open up both sides of that to the very bottom so again split that in half loop it around tie that I would do 
So the small other section, you want to loop it a little bit more so that it gets a little bit tighter. So this time I'm going to do four loops. And I just want to pull that together and then just separate the two sides so it looks like you've got a fishtail braid, if that makes sense. And yeah. So I have really thin hair, so I try to fluff it up as much as possible. Um, and then you, again, do the same. Until you get to your desired length. So I'm at the end of my braid now. I'm basically going to stop right there. And then you just want to put your bangs back. And then you want to just do the other side. All right, guys, that was hard to do when it was a lot easier for me to do when it's off camera. So basically, I just repeated the, that step on the same side. And then once you're done, you can fluff it up as much as you want to, depending on the thickness of your braid. Okay, so I've got both of my braids here. I just popped on a wide rim hat. This one I got from Urban Outfitter. I've really been loving this braids lately. It's really for me it's easy to, for me to work with. I run out of the house with dirty hair, put in a braid, and it looks like I actually tried. <laughs> so that's what it looks like. This is also another style that I like to do. So I just put it into a low bun without the braids. Um, you can imagine it without the braids. You just loop it together and do a low bun. This is also really quick and easy for me to do with dirty hair. So that's another one that you can do. And then another style that I really like to do is I do one big side braid. Um, so just like the two separate braids, just do it into one big and then on the side. And that looks really cute as well. And if you have any questions, you can leave it down below and I'll try to answer them for you.